Hi there, Jim Pingle here with the PFSense software development team. The default state policy in PFSense Plus 2403 and later releases is changing from floating states to interface bound states for increased security. Due to the potential impact of this change, we wanted to highlight aspects of state policy behavior. The state policy fundamentally changes how the firewall checks packets against existing state table entries to determine if a packet should be allowed. The first mode is interface bound states. It is more strict and secure. In that mode, states are bound to specific interfaces by their operating system driver names, such as IGC0, IX1, and so on. For example, if a packet attempts to take a path through an interface other than the one through which the state is bound, the firewall will drop the packet. So if it has a state going outbound on WAN and the state, or the state matches a packet coming back in on another interface, such as a VPN, it would end up getting dropped since the two paths don't match. However, because of that strict interface checking, this type of policy can conflict with certain aspects of multi-WAN routing, especially with traffic originating from the firewall itself, in some cases things like reply to. We do have workarounds in place on development snapshots for issues that we have identified thus far. Additionally, this policy also requires high availability nodes to have identical hardware to use state synchronization. The other possible mode is floating states. And Floating states are less secure, they're more lenient in their checks, and they're not strictly associated with any interface. In that mode, the firewall does still track the state, the interface on the state, but it's informational and it's not enforced. Because it doesn't strictly enforce the interface involved on the state, floating states are more forgiving when it comes to multi-WAN and asymmetric routing scenarios. And this mode also allows high availability nodes with different hardware to fully utilize state synchronization. Past versions of PSN software have behaved somewhere in the middle of these two with a little bit of variation where sometimes certain versions behaved more like one or the other. Uh, but now there's a global option and the user can change it as they see fit. It's under System, Advanced, Firewall and NAT tab, down here under Firewall State Policy. So you can choose this on a global basis, and there is also a per rule option to where it can be adjusted on every firewall rule individually. So advanced users can take a hybrid approach if they prefer to have something somewhere in the middle. Uh, and now, though we're changing the default, you can always change it back to the old method if you find that it works better for you. And some of these changes will be made available in the system patches package for previous versions, uh, but we're mostly changing the default and having the uh, per rule options and everything in the new versions going forward. That's it, thank you.